Let's have a look at exercise 10E, questions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Question 1. Ambiga invests Malaysian ringgits 8,000 in a bank offering interest at a rate of 4.6% per annum compounded monthly. Now that's key. A. Calculate the amount of money Ambiga has in the bank after seven years. Calculate how long it will take for her money to double. And we're going to use this formula here. Now this is the general formula with a K. There. Because we're not dealing with one year only. Okay, we're looking at monthly or weekly. A. Calculate the amount of money Ambiga has in the bank after seven years. Present value 8,000. Uh, R is 4.6, compounded monthly. So K is 12, N is 7. Put in the formula and we get 11,032 uh, ringgits and uh, 28, whatever they are. B. Calculate how long it will take for her money to double. 16,000 is the future value because it's twice the present value, it's doubled. R is 4.6, compounded monthly. Again, K is 12. We solve using the graphic display calculator. We get 15.1, and the book says 15.1 years. Though in some exercises, it'll round that up to 16. Question two, a bank is offering at a rate, a rate of 3.4% per annum compounded quarterly. Okay, so we've got K is four. Mrs. Safe invests 3,500 euro in this bank. A, calculate the amount of money she has after six years. Mr. Secure invests X euro in this bank after six years amount in his bank is 4,000. Okay, let's have a look at A. P, present value is 3,500. R is 3.4. It's compounded quarterly, so K is 4. N is 6. We put everything in the formula and we've got the future value there. After six years, 4,288 euro and 34 cents. Let's have a look at this one. Mr. Secure invests X euro in this bank. After six years, the amount in his bank is 4,000. Calculate the value of X correct to the nearest euro. So effectively, we're trying to find the present value. The future value is 4,000. R is the same bank, so that's 3.4 per annum. Compounded quarterly, so that's K is 12. N is six, six years. We make PV, present value of the subject, and we get that answer there, 3,265 euro. Now we're going to use this answer in this question because it says calculate the number of years it would take for Mr. Secure's money to double. So we're going to use that for the present value and the future value is double that. R is 3.4, same bank. K is 12, same conditions. And we put everything in there with N up to here. We use the graphic display calculator. We get N equals 20.42. It will take 20.42 years. I think the book says 21. That's a bit inconsistent there. Okay, let's... All right, good, well done. Let's have a look at three. Rick invests Singaporean dollars, 40,000, in an account that pays 5% interest per year, compounded half yearly. K is two. A, calculate how much he has in the bank after four years. The bank then changes the interest rate to 4.9 per annum, compounded monthly. K is 12. Calculate how much Rick has in the bank after another four years. Okay. Calculate how much he has in the bank after four years. After four years, he has that because the present value is 40,000, K is five, uh, R is five, five, and K is two, because it's half yearly. We put everything in there and we get $48,736.12. The bank then changes interest rate to 4.9% per annum, compounded monthly, now K is 12. Calculate how much Rick has in the bank after another four years. The new interest rate is 4.9. The new PV, present value, is our answer from here, and that's $48,736.12. N is four, the new K is 12. We put everything in here and we get $59,265.14 Singaporean. Let's have a look at number four. Mr. Chen invests 20,000 Chinese won in a bank that offers interest at a rate of 3.8% per annum, compounded quarterly. Mrs. Chang also invests the same amount in a bank that offers interest at a rate of 3.9% per annum, compounded yearly. All right, they both have 20,000, so PV is 20,000 for both. N is five, because it says calculate who has earned more interest after five years. They've both got N is five. 3.8% for Mr. Chen. Mrs. Chang is 3.9. Also, Mrs. Chang is yearly, so she's K is one, and Mr. Chen is quarterly, so he's K is four. We calculate the future value using our formula. Now, that the question was calculate who has earned more interest because they both put the same amount of money in as a present value. A 
initially, right, that that would be that the one with the total most would be the person who on the most interest, of course. But be careful, if that was a different PV, then you'd have to just calculate the interest. Okay, so the interest earned is 24,163.31 minus 20,000, the original investment. And similarly over here, and the bigger number for interest is 4,216.30 and 4,163.31. So Mrs. Chang earns more interest. Question five, Peter invests 400 pounds in a bank that offers interest at a rate of 4% per annum compounded monthly. Calculate how much money he has in the bank after 10 years. Okay, there's a lot we know here already. We know the present value is 400, R is four, K is 12 because it's monthly, compounded monthly, N is 10 after 10 years. Put everything in there, after 10 years, he has 596.33 pounds in the bank. All right, B, calculate how long it takes for his money to double. Well, the present value is 400, so F fee would be 800 for it to double, and we've got to calculate how long it takes. We're looking for N. We know R is four, K is 12 because it's monthly. We put everything in our formula, and what one thing we don't know is N. So we use the graphic display calculator, the solve function, and we get N is 17.3575. It will take 18 years there, yeah, or it would take 17.4 years. Good. Six, EV invests $1,200 in a bank that offers interest at a rate of R percent per annum, compounded monthly. Her money doubles in 10 years. Find the value of R. Well, the present value is 1200 the future value is doubled, so it's 2400. N is 10. K is 12 because it's compounded monthly. We put everything in the formula and we use the graphic display calculator solve function, but it says no solution found. It might be a little bit complicated for it. So we go to logs and here's the log pro, uh, method here and we get R is 6.95. Okay, you can see the steps here. I've chosen log two because we know that equals one. On the left hand side so I've got log base 2 of 2 so it's 1 so log base 2 of all of that now remember I can bring down the 120 at the front so I got 120 log 2 of this inside the bracket okay and then um, see what I've done here that this is equivalent to this that base to that power equals what's inside there okay? and then I've uh, put R as a subject and I've got 6.95 Seven, Colin, Ryan and Kyle each have 1,500 euro to invest. Colin invests his money in a bank that offers 2.6% interest compounded quarterly. Ryan invests his money in a bank that offers 2.55% interest compounded monthly. Kyle invests his money in a bank that offers 2.75% interest compounded annually. Calculate who has the most money in their account after six years. So we've got 2.6%, 2.55 and 2.75. It's all compound. K is four, K is 12, K is one, N is six, N is six, N is six after six years. Put it all in the formula and you get the future value here. Kyle has the most money, 17,000, excuse me, 1,765 euro and 15 cents. There. Good. So it's a good idea to do them in columns there. B, find how long it will take before Ryan has 2,500. Well, 2,500 would be the future value. K is 12 for Ryan. K is 12 and R is 2.55, so we put everything in there and we're trying to find N. Use the graphic display calculator solve function and you've got 20.05 in the book, it says 21 years, right? Just over 20 for that one. C, find how long it will take for Kyle to double his money. Okay, now Kyle has, uh, has 1,500, they all had 1,500, right? Yeah. Yeah, so double it would be 3,000, present value is 1,500, 2.75, K is one. Again, we solve for N, use the calculator function, uh, solve function, and you've got 25.5, it will take 26 years. Good.